Come on, baby. Shift. You can shift it. Now shift it. Now shift. Shift. There you go. Delio YouTube. Welcome back to Switching Lanes Detroit. Um, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff down at the bottom. You know how this works. If you're new to the channel, that's all that information is for you. <laughs> uh, feel free to comment down below. You know, we try to get, we, we try to be as interactive as we can with you guys. Um, sorry if it takes us a couple days to respond, but you know, we do get back. Um, as you guys seen from the intro, well, first, things have been slow in the Mercedes, and I'll talk about that a little bit later on, about what's going on with that and why we haven't done anything, but, you know, things happen. Um, and as you guys seen from the beginning of the video, yeah, we seem to be having some problems with the, uh, with the transmission here with first gear. Now, it can be simple. It can go in between or it can get really expensive. So we're hoping, um, I'm stopping for no reason. Um, <laughs> we're hoping to fall at that, that really cheap fix right at the beginning. So um, that's what we're gonna hope. I gotta pick up my little helper here from virtual school. <laughs> Thanks a lot, COVID. Once I pick her up, we'll get back to the house and uh, I'll go over everything. We'll try the simple fix first to see if we can get um, that first gear switching right. Because as you see, it's going up to what, 2000 RPMs before it shifts in the first and shouldn't be doing that. You know, I don't have a stall on here. <laughs> so, um, and we'll get rolling on what's going on. All right. Peace. It's the booger. <laughs> You doing? You up in the Mercedes? What? <laughs> no? You have never. You haven't done this in like a I year. We about to run out of gas. I know. It's on E. But we need it on E so we can change the fuel filter. Yeah. Seat belt. I know. <laughs> Tell them we'll catch them at the house. Catch you at the house.
back at the house. Sorry for that little uh, little vlog. I'm sorry. Just whenever you get a chance to drive these things, you got to just drive them. You know, so we take take the long way home when we can. Um, two disclaimers. For one, it's windy out, as you can see the trees. But hopefully, um, it doesn't clip the sound. Two. Once we talk about the transmission, I won't be able to take it for a test drive simply because now I had to air the tire up before I even took the car out today. I was gonna use these as winter storage wheels. And then, uh, you know, in the summertime, put the rims on. But uh, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to buy a tire. I'll probably get used. I'm not buying new tires for these rims. I mean, the rims are all pitted and corroding and things of that nature. So it doesn't make sense. I don't like these rims anyway. But yeah, the tires are, are shot, dry rotted. Probably shouldn't be driving on them. Actually, the tread is actually really good on them, to be honest with you, but yeah, they dry rotted. Because as I said before, I believe this car was sitting. So yeah, that happens. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is rushing air out somewhere. I don't know, I'll do that tomorrow, but not worried about it right now. Actually, what I'm gonna do this weekend also is once we toy with the transmission, just a little thing we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna put the fuel filter on. I have it, so I'm gonna get that on. That's why I've been kind of like burning the gas down, as you guys know already. And it's almost on E, so I really can't go too much further. Um, get the tire fixed, because I'll probably just pop the tire off and take it somewhere, instead of driving the car up there. It's easier that way. Not a big deal. At least we could talk about the transmission. Just, I'm learning. You know, pretty much every part on this car, I'm learning as I go. It's a whole new ball game for me, these freaking old German cars, so I'm learning. But I will say one thing, man. It seems like the more and more I start to drive this car, it seems like something is breaking. I, 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 the, the exhaust is leaking. I now have a hole in the tire, which is fine. Like I said, it's dry rotted. Um, the problem with the transmission, um shifting yeah so let's get to the trans here's something i do know a lot of people don't know how to check transmission fluid now a lot of newer cars they don't use dipsticks anymore um but most of your cars still use them so here's the um transmission dipstick right there now, actually this one is kind of unique on the merc here either unique or over engineered um it actually locks. There you go. Okay. Yep. Pull that up and then voila. Now, when you check the transmission fluid, the car has to be running in warm and obviously on a level surface. So I pretty much have it level right here in the driveway. It's pretty flat, about as flat as I can get it. Um, yeah, so we fire up the car. Uh, uh, it's going to be kind of loud, but I could check it to show you guys. So you leave the dipstick in, you fire up the engine. Let's see. As you guys can see, we got the interior back in, cleaned up as much as we can get it until we can take it to a detail shop to get the carpet and all that good stuff. That'll be next year though. It's a pretty much a wash on this year. Let's see if it starts the first. There you go. Alright. Well, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to let the uh, car warm up. Let me close the hood. Quiet down some. As you can hear, this is how loud the exhaust is. So, what I've seen is uh, with a lot of these older Mercs, uh, when you check the transmission fluid, use like um, some paper or something like that. Don't use tissue or napkins because uh, the particles from the tissue and the napkin get, get down inside the uh, transmission off of the um, dipstick and get into the filter and clog it up. Now, obviously that's extreme. You know, you would have to check your transmission probably every day, check the fluid every day for that to happen. But just to be safe, I mean, we have some packaging paper laying around, so we just use it, no big deal. Transfluid was a little 
bit low. So, or maybe a lot a bit low. <laughs> uh, so we actually have some. So that's how you check trans fluid. Just check it a couple times and sniff it. Make sure you're not getting a burning smell because if you are, obviously there's something wrong. The fluid is still red, so that's a good thing. It's not dark brown or anything like that. So the fact that it's still red lets me know that uh, it may have been changed, maybe. See, that's one of these things about buying cars. Um, used cars like this from somebody that bought it as a flip is they no history on it at all. That's the gamble. But we got some goodies here. The um, the cheap, middle, and the extreme fixes. Now the cheap is low fluid, obviously, and that you know it appears we have low fluid, which is can cause the trans to slip like it is going into a uh, second gear. Um, second thing would be there's something called a uh, a vacuum modulator on the side of the transmission. Uh, I believe it's on the driver's side. Now this. From what I read, loosen the motor mounts, loosen the trans mount, and um, like jack the engine up and all that good stuff. I believe that part is like 60 or 70 bucks. And what it does is it controls the shifts, the quality of the shift, and um, the shift timing. It also controls the shift, um, how hard and how soft the transmission shifts. It controls that obviously because it's vacuum actuated. So that's you know something small. Another thing would be the filter and replacing the fluid that can have an effect on the way the engine, uh, um, the transmission shifts. That's fair. That can be done right here in the driveway. I have some ramps. We can put the car up on ramps and get under there and do that. That's fairly simple. It's very messy though. I wouldn't do it right here, but it's very messy. And then you start digging deeper into the trans. I don't think the transmission need to be replaced. It's not that serious. But what we want to do is catch this problem before it gets that serious. Like we don't want to keep driving it and forcing second gear out of first into second. You don't want to keep doing that. Obviously, you just put more wear and tear on the transmission and the internal parts doing it that way. So that's a no-no. So that's why we're going to start with the fluid. We obviously see it's low. We start there. Now, once we put the fluid in and uh, it's still doing it, then that's when we know we need to start. We need to move on to the next phase. It's just, it's weird because the way they built these cars is that one part controls like multiple things. So like I said, with the uh, vacuum modulator, that can also have an effect on it going into second gear the way it does. It's crazy. As you can see, the trees are starting to turn. So I'm starting to starting to lose uh the weather you know it's we're here in october now so so we hope it's nothing that serious uh so not a trans fluid we got this nifty little funnel let's see if this even works when you add the fluid make sure the trans the uh, car is running while you're adding the fluid too and add a little at a time you don't want to over add because there's no drain plug for just the trans fluid so and now the transmission fluid the type of trans fluid that this car took dexron 3 of course they don't make dexron 3 anymore they do make equivalent transmission fluids so what we had to do is um you could either buy straight from mercedes which was kind of expensive so i didn't go that route and i would have had to go to the dealer and pick it up and i wasn't going through all of that or you just get online do your research and um you'll come up with an equal um, 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 trans fluid that you can use. So what we came up with is this Dex Merc ATF right here. Recommended for, as you can see, Dex Ron 3, Mercon, and many more applications. It's not synthetic. Um, I'm not using synthetic anything on this old car. Uh, so that should work out just fine. I forgot how much it was, it was fairly cheap, but we'll pour that in and uh, give that a try. Oh. You know what, this tire is actually holding up, man. I don't know. We may be able to take it for a spin around the block and 
and see what happens, but I don't want the tire to blow out on me neither, so. So maybe we shouldn't push it, I don't know. Maybe when I come out tomorrow, we'll see how low it is. So, let me get the fluid in here. Another thing, um, when you're checking it, make sure you check the back of the dipstick too because it reads different from the front. Now it shouldn't be off that much, but sometimes it is. So just keep checking it, you know, making sure you got it. Um, so that seems to be topped off. I didn't need a whole quart or anything like that, so that's good. I'm tempting to drive this thing. I want to know. But I'll be honest with you. I don't think that little bit of trans fluid I put in there is gonna make a difference, really. I am you know, worked on a lot of cars in my life and I'm pretty sure that little bit I just added is not gonna change the way it's shifting. I'm almost positive it's that uh, modulator on the side of the uh, transmission. I can, I bet anything on it. No big deal. So that's, that's about, as far as my knowledge, stretches on this transmission right now. I'm learning, you know, like I said, um, I'm learning as I get there because there's so much. I can only, I'm trying to focus and learn as much as I can, but it seems like I try to focus on one thing and then something else goes wrong because I still have to do the shots, which I'm gonna do um, this year for sure. Because, as you can hear, you know, I just, um, what we did is, um, same thing with Chris, is that we kind of slowed down with the cars because of just everything that's, that's, you know, obviously going on, you guys are dealing with it too. And then the world started to open back up. Well, but then you become busy on the weekends again because there's things that we weren't able to do that we're able to do now. So, you know, and people you haven't seen, now you're able to really see them. Some people you, we were trying to protect our elders and things of that nature and our kids, so. But now you can see those people. So now with work picking up and then cars kind of been left in the dust a little bit, but we are trying to get back to it. And like he told you in his last video, hit that above. Um, his work schedule changed so the way he can he's able to work on the car is different it's just it's crazy man i thought i would have been much further along this year but things happen 2020 happened you know i had uh, a drastic change in my life this year about uh two months ago or so so it's just just different now you know, i'm looking at things different because my plan like i said was to be further along but i decided to invest my money elsewhere so this car is kind of going to take a back burner, obviously, to um, a lot of things. But I'll do what I can and drive it as much as I can and still film other content. But yeah, it's just it's going to be a slow burn for this. So. And like I said, once we start dumping snow on us, then it's, it's a wrap. You know, the car will be covered up and um, put back there. And that's pretty much it. I'll come out and crank it every other day move it as much as i can but that's pretty much it so hope you guys enjoyed this video about nothing i'm sure i left out a whole lot of information but i know it's all right we'll get to it so please like share subscribe all that good stuff comment below we try to respond like i said as much as we can so um that's pretty much it the next video i'll be doing a fuel filter which should be fairly simple and we'll be driving it again we're supposed to have a stretch of cool but i think next week is supposed to be decent weather so we get it done this weekend and we'll be driving it you guys can go with me to find a shell station to get some of that good fuel to put in this thing so hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry nothing was accomplished but just you know there's going to be a lot of videos of nothing being accomplished trust me <laughs> Just wait, there's more. But um, man, we'll catch you guys next time, all right? Peace.